Hello, and welcome to Your Daily Five. I'm Greg Harmon, founder and president of Dragonfly Capital. At Dragonfly Capital, we manage uh, portfolios for clients uh, in separately managed accounts held at uh, interactive brokers. Gives you access to see what's going on 24-7 in any reporting you, don't, you would ever like. Uh, we use technical analysis to find opportunities and then options to uh, leverage those opportunities and control risk. Uh, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, though, uh, you can also uh, look towards our uh, subscription service to find uh, some ideas and uh, how you might possibly trade those ideas on your own. Find out more at dragonflycap.com. Today, as we are about to head into spring, we're going to take a look at uh, the, the marketplace and uh, my process for uh, the weekend, every weekend, and uh, how I came up with uh, it this week. It might be time for some shorts, not here in Cleveland. It's too cold and snowing. So these are five stocks that I found this weekend that uh, looked like they were uh, good for uh, continued or new short activity. First one here is Amgen. And Amgen, you can see uh, peaked here uh, at the beginning of February, had a sharp move lower and has been continuing to drift lower since and been in this uh, falling channel you know, maybe it's a uh, a wedge, but uh, definitely in a downward direction. Uh, it got accentuated Friday by a large volume uh, move to the downside. Um, we've got momentum here, uh, the RSI uh, hugging the uh, lower end of uh, the, uh, the bearish zone without going into uh, being oversold. And we've got the MACD uh, deep uh, into negative territory and not showing any real signs of uh, moving back up as we see the cross back down on uh, Friday last week. This looks like, uh, you know, maybe it, uh, maybe it gets uh, some support at the 200 day moving average here at uh, about 262, about $6 lower, only a 3% short. Uh, but in a, a bull market environment uh, where we're in a pullback situation, 3% you know, to the short side is not a bad uh, uh, target as well. So that's the first one that I found. The second is more of a setup, and this is Airbnb. Airbnb uh, had been moving higher uh, off of this kind of double bottom here uh, at the in the January timeframe and had moved up, kind of peaked out here uh, early last week, uh, and then had a hard move to the downside on Friday uh, back to this kind of support area around 160. We see the uh, RSI kind of rolling over as well and pulling back to the midline, uh, giving you uh, the, the sense that uh, momentum is changing. And we see that again here in the MACD with uh, it crossing down. So again, uh, potential for a pullback and with the 50-day moving average being down here well below, uh, a move under this 160 looked like a good target here to, uh, to enter on the short side. Third one, Cirrus Logic. So in the tech sector, uh, had a gap up here after earnings in February uh, and had been consolidating. And then we had three days in a row to the downside. Uh, so three black crows uh, for you uh, candlestick fans. And a move below here uh, at about 88.50 uh, looks to trigger a short, uh, a short trade. Uh, we've got uh, the, the RSI uh, at uh, you know, nearly uh, six-week lows, cr crashing through the, uh, the midline. And we've got uh, the uh, MACD that had crossed down at the beginning of the month or the end of February, uh, continuing to move lower back towards uh, the, the zero line. Uh, so here you've got a, you know potential of uh, some support area here in the 84 range, but then a gap to fill up up to about 79 as well, which happens to be where the 200-day moving average is. So three so far to take a look at. The fourth one, NetApp. And then we saw a gap up uh, after earnings in November and just kind of stabilized and then a gap up again after earnings in February and has been kind of leaking to the downside. Just pulled out of uh, overbought territory. Uh, we still have the, the Bollinger Bands being very wide and we see the, the MACD curling to cross down. Uh, so again, no real support here until you get down to about 91. Uh, with it at 102, that's a good 10% move uh, should it uh, continue to move to the downside with limited upside risk here at uh, a stop at around 106. 
And the last one on my list for the this week was Uber. Uber comes into uh, the, uh, the the trading day, the trading week this week. Uh, also with a gap up uh, in the end of February, consolidation here, but we see uh, momentum waning and now back down at uh, the, the midline on the RSI. Uh, we had uh, the, the MACD cross down at the beginning of the month and continues to move lower towards zero. Uh, so we've got potential here on a, a move below 76 to um, take on some uh, short exposure to Uber. So these were the five stocks that uh, that I sent out to uh, to my subscribers, and that I was going to focus on on the short side today. And uh, now that it's uh, you know around eleven o'clock, we've got an hour and a half of the trading day done, and the market went completely the opposite direction. Everything that looked like it was good good setup for the short side uh, has not been working at all. So those first four stocks uh, have been bouncing; they're up on the day. And the question then is, well, what do you, as a uh, trader and an and investment manager, what do you do? Well, you go back to the drawing board and start looking again. But first though, this truck, this stock here, Uber did trigger and Uber has moved lower. Uh, we entered uh, a trade here, uh, buying some puts, uh, short-term puts, just a two week uh, kind of trade here because we're still in a, the view that the, the market is long-term bullish and just in a, a short term kind of um, tired and uh, in need of a little correction, corrective action. Uh, but um, for the rest of them, it's it's what uh, investment managers do most of the time, sit on their hands. There's not much else to do. So how do we set up for uh, the, the coming rest of the week? I'll take another look at some charts later on today to see how they're reacting, see if this uh, upward revision is going to stick. And if uh, it does continue to stick, then uh, we'll take a look towards uh, uh, more uh, opportunities on the long side. And a couple that did show up this week uh, in, uh, th in the activity that I was looking at uh, were uh, Cummings, which is up big today. Uh, that triggered Illinois Tool Works, another one. Uh, so more on the industrial side uh, and the old uh, Raytheon, RTX now. So that's kind of a, a little look into my process. Uh, came up with a lot of shorts for the week. They don't trigger, what do you do? As a technician, you do nothing. You need confirmation before you can trade anything. So hopefully that helps out uh, for uh, your uh, benefits. And uh, thanks for watching.